morning kids, it's now morning I guess, <laughs> it's only just morning and I'm so glad that yesterday is over, <laughs> I'm so glad it's over, so anyway I'm not going to go on too much because I want to try and keep this in 20 minutes, but today's presentation is all about the police and what a wonderful day to do a presentation about the police after my experience yesterday on the 3rd of February. So, uh, what a better place to do it than around a one-way system where the police station is. Uh, I'd like to go around the wrong way, but um, I'd probably get arrested again. And uh, I, my mum would never forgive me, and it would be really stupid of me. So, uh, I'm just going to go around a one-way system, and within, I've probably got about 18 minutes now I'm going to do a presentation on the police and um, my experiences of the police I guess. We're in Seven Kings by the way. We're at the 86 bus stop London bound. Okay. Let him go. Right? 
the way they treated me was, was to, it wasn't disgusting. I've seen far worse, believe me. Right? Okay. But you know, we consent to this. Yeah, we consent to this. I didn't even point out the old bill station there as you heard by. But anyway, we just went past the old bill station there. But we consent to this. Okay? Now that, the thing is today, all they had to do was say, Christopher. We need to bring you in for questioning. I would have got in the car or the van or whatever. I walked with them. I wouldn't have cared. Right? But no. They didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, have a look at that one, constable. Yeah, you've got that on camera. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I have to put up with, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, as we go around the one-way system, I heard him coming from miles back anyway, that's why I kept well out of his way. Okay? <laughs> I heard him way back, okay? So, yeah, my treatment, okay? Now, I actually feel for the young constable, do you know that? I had to go around his roundabout a couple of times, so I can't stop me doing it. Right? I actually feel for that young constable. Yeah? I really feel for him. Do you know why? I'll tell you why, right? When he goes to bed tonight, that young man, all he will see, right, and you're gonna have to forgive my language, ladies, children, right? But I can't put this any other way. But all he is gonna see is my arsehole. Right? Okay, this young man. Yeah. Yeah. So me giving them all this nutter, look behind me, look. Look at him, look. <laughs> look. These are the days when I wish I was a constable because he'd be nicked now. Look, all his lights are wrong. He'd I'd nick him. Right. He'd be nicked now. Right, anyway, we're still on the one way system of it, but I'm trying to keep this brief, right? But this poor young man has got to spend the rest of his life as a police constable, and I told him that if I was in the job, I'd have to resign, right? or I'd have to change it because there's no way that I'll put up with what's going on in our country and other countries I just couldn't put up with it you know? I just couldn't do it okay so I want to tell you how I feel now what happened to me who cares really do you understand but I'm going to share with you now how I feel. I really feel abused. Yeah. Because as well as poor old Edward when he puts his head on the pillow at night, right, seeing my arsehole, right, every time I think of that young man, all I can see is him peering up my arsehole. Alright? And forgive my language, but how else can I tell you? Yeah, apart from how it is, you know? And I feel abused. Absolutely feel abused. And yet I consent to this policing. I consent to this. And this is a boy, a man, that has grown up on these streets. Yeah. From a little boy. Okay, they don't know Christopher by now. Do they really have to look up Christopher's arse? No. All he had to say is, Christopher, have you got anything up your bum? And I would have said no. And if he, knew, if he knows Christopher, like they know Christopher, he would know that that's the truth. Okay? But no. Poor old Edward had to peer up my arse. Yeah. I've been told by the villains, yeah, that they use that as a tactic to make you actually feel that way. You know, like you're just nothing. Yeah, it's a tactic, apparently. But anyway, it's a tactic that will stay with dear old Edward and me for the rest of our days, I guess. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so uh, on this police thing, I'd just like to say they're a mirror of society. Right, that's, a, that's what they are. Mirror of society. You get your lefties, you get your rights, you get your libertarians, you get your arseholes, of course. Uh, and then you get your wonderful people, yeah? And I've met a 
of all, mate. Yeah, do you understand? Right? So I think I've kept this within 20 minutes, alright? I hope so. Because we uh, come back round in one way, sister. I haven't put a foot wrong, have I? First of all, not a foot wrong. And I've nicked two for you. Yeah? Just mop them up on the camera, that's all you're doing. Yeah, I'll do the hard work for you. Yeah, just show you where they are, right? Like. Not that I try to do that, they just do it for themselves, don't they? they? Just do it for themselves. They risk my life quite often doing it as well. Stupid things they do. Anyway, as we head now, right away, I'm going to hit the gas. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 